Welcome to Greater Good Radio Hawaii, where leaders inspire leaders. Greater Good Radio Hawaii is dedicated to social entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Evan Leong, and with me is my co-host, Carrie Leong. Today's guest is Robbie Alm, Senior Vice President of Public Affairs at Hawaiian Electric Company. Robbie sits as a lecturer for the Public Administration Program at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. He serves in more than a dozen community organizations, including Helping Hands Hawaii, Boys and Girls Club of Hawaii, and Family Independence Initiative, to name a few. Please welcome to Greater Good Radio, Robbie Alm. Welcome to our show, Robbie. Thank you. So, Robbie, Public Affairs, could you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing at HECO? Uh, I think the, probably the best way to look at it is I was brought in six years ago at a time when the company felt that its relationship with the public wasn't very strong, just to be blunt. It was the Wahila Ridge days. Um, we had also had a, a big controversy at Keohole on the Big Island. And I think there was a sense in the company that however we were working with the public and with our regulatory and government officials wasn't working out that well. So they asked if I would come in, create an area called Public Affairs, and combine up pretty much all our communications, formal and informal, with the, with the public and with government into one area and try to see if we could do it better. Why you? I don't know. You'd have to ask them that. I think maybe it's because I'd been on lots of different sides of the fence. Uh, I was for many years in state government, and for a number of those years I was the consumer advocate. So I was on the opposite side of the fence from the utilities, and then I spent eight and a half years with uh, First Hawaiian uh, Bank. And so I do understand business and uh, what it means to, to be in, in business, and I guess maybe they thought the combination of those two things would, would benefit the company. Uh, what do you feel is the key ingredient in making sure that the company has a good image in the community's eyes? I think the first thing you have to do is listen. Uh, the community has expectations. Uh, they have expectations of us. They have expectations of businesses in general. Um, they have expectations about how they want to be treated. And I think you start not by what you want to do as a company, but by what people want you to do, what they don't want you to do, what they've been angry that you've done in the past, what they've liked that you've done, especially if you're a regulated business like us, because we really are dependent on what um, government says is okay for us to do what the public says. If you don't ask them, it's kind of hard to to get it right. I mean, you can guess right, uh, but that hadn't been doing us as much good. And so the first thing to do is listen. And I spent a lot of time listening, and we still do that today. I mean, it's very important. What about if you know that the initiatives that your company is putting through is right, something you feel is ethically, morally right, but maybe the community doesn't understand? How do you deal with something like that? Uh, well, we had a very good example of that. Our the uh, uh, plant power plant we just got permission to build in Campbell Industrial Park. End of the Wahila Ridge days, the you know the folks inside the company sit and and tell me we need to build a power plant by the end of the decade. And I just at first I started laughing. I said, "You guys are crazy. You can't even get a power line in. You want to build a power plant?" Uh, but they convinced me that we really needed it to preserve electricity for this island. So first thing we did is go sit down with the folks in West Oahu and the Waianae Coast and put all the information in front of them and let them see what the reasoning was and why we thought we needed it, ask questions. Um, and finally, most of them satisfied themselves that we needed to do it. And then they said, but if you're going to do something in our community, you got to give back. So then we engaged in a very long process with them about talking about what we would give back to the community in order to site that power plant there. And ended up in a series of meetings over six months with like a who's who of 40, 50 community leaders from West Oahu, Y and I, finally agreeing on a package of benefits for the community to accompany permission to build a plant. So really, I, you know, I think if you, if, if you really believe it's right, then you've got to put all the facts you know in front of people. And you got to let them arrive at their own conclusion, and hopefully many or, or a lot will be persuaded, as, you, as I was, that it was necessary. Uh, I, and for a company like us, that's the only way, because if we just try to come up to a community and say, I don't care what you think, we're going to do what we think is right, you're going to run into a lot of resistance that you probably deserve. What were some of the things you had to do to give back? What were some of the things in that agreement? 
It was interesting. The, the community came up with a list of like 30 things, you know, and like a brand new hospital and, and uh, solar roof uh, for every home in the entire area. And some of them priced out at a few hundred million and some were, uh, you know, but in the end, the group worked its own way through to what they wanted. And on the environmental side, they wanted us to switch from using fresh water to using recycled water at the Kahi power plant. And they wanted us to install monitoring stations in the Mackay side of uh, Campbell Industrial Park and then up the coast so that people in that area could understand what they were actually being exposed to in terms of pollution. And then the folks in the Makakilo area wanted a rate discount. You know, they're the ones right around the plant. And, and they wanted some acknowledgement from the rest of the rate payers of Oahu that they were taking a burden on their behalf. And both, all of that's pending at the Public Utilities Commission right now. They gave us permission to build a plant, and we're still waiting for the results of that community benefits uh, um, uh, package, which hopefully will, will be out soon. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.